The Quick Text Hotkeys add-in will allow you to insert predefined text in your message when you press the associated key combination. This will save you time when you're inserting often used text, such as headers and footers, business or personal signatures, or subject lines. With the Quick Text add-in installed, go to the Sperry Software tab. From the add-in configuration window, with the Quick Text hotkeys selected, you can see I have two hotkeys already established. For instance, when I hit F10, it'll insert a meeting agenda into the current place I'm at in that email. And also, if I hit F5, it'll input my signature. Let me show you real quick, and we'll come back and make a hotkey. Let's say I wanted to use my Insert Signature hotkey. I'd simply navigate to where I wanted the signature to be placed and press the associated key. In this case, it's F5. This will input my signature that I've already created. Another example is the meeting agenda hotkey I've already created. With my subject line complete, I'll click into the body of the email. And I'll click the associated hotkey to insert my meeting agenda template. And just like that, with one click of a button, my meeting agenda template is created. So now let's walk through how to create a quick text hotkey. From the configuration window, click the add button. Here you can create a title for your hotkey and the text you want to insert. Note you have many formatting options to change the look and feel of your quick text. For this example, let's say I want to configure a hotkey for an invoice template. I give it a title, I put in my text that I want to insert. I can assign a hotkey. You can do any variation of Control Shift Alt and almost any key on the keyboard A through Z and F1 through F11. For this example, I'll choose F11 and press OK. You can also choose where you want to insert this information perhaps a subject at the current cursor position, at the top of your email, or at the bottom of your email. You can also check the box to show this quick text as a button. I'll click OK. It's important to note that your hotkeys will take effect the next time you restart Outlook. With Outlook restarted, let me show you how our invoice quick text hotkey works. From a new email, the first thing you note is that we chose to show it as a button. You can click the button to add the text you want added to your email. You can also click the associated hotkey. It really is that simple. If you wanted to edit one of the hotkeys, you could do so by clicking the edit button. And if you wanted to delete a hotkey, you could do so by clicking delete. There are a few other settings I want to talk about. The setting tab provides information that apply to all entries such as specifying date or time formats. The Invoking the Editor frame allows you to specify what method you will use to open the Quick Text Hotkeys editor. The choices are Enable Hotkey and Show Button in Windows. If this option is checked, then the Toolbar button will appear in the main Outlook window. If the Hotkey button here is clicked, or if the Toolbar is clicked, then the list of Quick Text Hotkeys will show up, making it convenient if you cannot remember which hotkey is mapped to which entry. The date and time formats allow you to specify the format for date and time entries. The actual date and time are substituted at the moment the hotkey is invoked. And finally, the backup and restore functions are useful for sharing a list of quick text hotkey entries or restoring to a new machine after backing up on an old one. The quick text hotkeys add-in can be incredibly helpful to make you make easy work of your email.